Let's go puddle jumping. This is a really great activity for children to get up their extra energy inside or outside on a rainy or even on a sunny day. For this activity, you'll need some blue construction paper or blue cardstock. If you're using cardstock, that's a really great idea because it's nice and durable. Just keep in mind when kiddos are doing this activity, they may be a little bit slippery if they're on a hardwood floor or tile floor or if they're wearing socks. You'll also need some scissors, a pencil or a black marker to make your puddles, and you can even use some painter's tape to tape down the puddles once we're done. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw out our puddles. So there is no real shape for a puddle. I've just gone ahead and drawn up these designs here like that. You can really do whatever shape you want. It's basically a big squiggle. So we're gonna draw all of our puddles of different shapes and different sizes on our paper. We wanna make sure we have at least five or six for the children to jump on. If you wanna up the ante with the children, feel free to add letters or numbers onto your puddles here so that you can call them out and have the child jump on them around so they can practice their letters and numbers at the same time. Next thing we're gonna do is cut out our puddles. So I'm using some child-friendly scissors here and your child can cut these shapes out themselves or you can do hand-over-hand -hand action. This part here, of course, is really great for fine motor skills and for hand-eye coordination because children get to practice their scissor and cutting skills using scissors. Perfect. I have my puddle cut out and I'm going to continue the process with the rest of the puddles on my sheet. Once I have them all cut out, I'm going to place them in a nice open area. So somewhere like a living room or a basement or somewhere where there's a lot of space would be a really great idea. You can even put it in the driveway using chalk or if you have really thick construction paper or cardstock, that would be a great idea too. Feel free to use painter's tape and you can make a little bubble on the bottom to put on the bottom of each puddle. This will prevent the puddle from slipping and sliding around on your floor. And painter's tape is really friendly for any hardwood or tile floors. So that's a little bit more sticky on the floor. Encourage your children to jump from puddle to puddle working on their gross motor skills, maybe by jumping and coordinating or jumping on one foot. You can also use letters and numbers and call those out to help children practice their letters and numbers while jumping. I hope you enjoyed that activity. Have a great day, everyone.